It is officially holiday shopping season. And you might have a photographer slash videographer friend in your life and you're wondering, what the heck am I gonna get them for the holidays? Or maybe you are the photographer slash videographer in your life and you're wondering, what am I gonna get myself for the holidays? Today, I have got you covered on holiday shopping with a huge list of things that would I think make any photographer, videographer person in your life pretty stoked to open. And to make sure that you're covered on any budget, we have things today from $5 all the way up to $2,500. But to organize that a little bit, I'm gonna break it into smaller categories and then I'll put the time codes on the screen so you can jump to, to what your budget is for said person in your life. Yeah, this video is gonna be long, so use those time codes to hop around the video. If you wanna watch this video all the way through, uh, cheers on you, you're amazing. But before we begin, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. It's almost at 30,000 subscribers, which is super cool and thank you. Like this video, because that helps a ton with the YouTube algorithm and letting other people know, hey, this is a video you should check out also. And lastly, comment below, tell me what on this list you want slash are gonna give to somebody else, or also tell me what I didn't have on this list but that I should have on this list because I need to make a Christmas list as well. Shameless plugs, Spork Ambassador stickers are available now at the first link below. This is honestly just a sticker to support this channel and maybe one day we run into each other and you have this on your water bottle or or camera case or something. And I and I say that's freaking cool. It's so awesome to meet you and thanks for supporting the channel. Okay, I'm gonna go as fast as I can. So if you want more details or you have more questions about any specific products, put it in the comments. I'll answer your question there. I'm gonna burn through this list as quickly as possible. And we're gonna start from the bottom, the cheapest, and, and go to the top for those big dogs of you out there that are looking to spend thousands of dollars on your Christmas gifts. All right, for the first category, $50 and under, the first thing is is pretty obvious. If you've watched any of my videos before, it's in my little black bag and it is a set of sporks. If you know somebody who is a photographer, videographer, and they travel at all, having a spork in your bag at all times is just amazing. I love how much I've gotten made fun of on this channel for the sporks, but they're awesome. Number two on my list is something that's a digital good. It's not something that I have here physically, and that is an Epidemic Sound membership. If you or someone in your life is looking to be a YouTuber, make videos, put them online in any sort of capacity, you usually need music for that. And all the music you hear on this channel is from Epidemic Sound. They're amazing. And at only $15 a month, plus a free 30-day trial membership, you could spend $15 and give somebody a two-month membership or $30 for a three month, or $45 for a four month. Yeah, even for $15 a month, to give somebody 60 days access to Epidemic Sound's massive library of songs, that would be a pretty sweet gift. Okay, next up on the list is Rocket Blowers. You've heard me talk about these before as well, and they're amazing. I've got like six of them because pretty much every one of my bags has a rocket blower in it. It just shoots air, it cleans lenses and sensors and all sorts of things. But if you are a photographer, videographer, you just need one of these. You gotta have it. Don't be that guy going into your camera sensor. Don't do that. Next up is an Anchor Universal Cable. This is a universal cable that goes from USB-A to Lightning, USB-C, and micro USB. Micro USB? Yeah, micro USB. And it's it's incredible. It's just the one go-to cable. I keep this in my bag. I can charge any of my devices with, with just this one cable. The next thing that's up that's also in my little black bag of goods is the Fisher Space Pen. These are those space pens that write upside down and underwater and they're tiny. They're, they're really small when they're closed, that big really uh, very pocketable, but then you open it up and it feels like a full-size pen, normal pen to write with. Yeah, one of those gifts that's just fun. It's a, it's a great stocking stuffer and pretty much any photographer, videographer would be happy to have a pen that they can always write on anything with at all times. Okay, the next thing up is something that I talk about a lot on this channel because I think it's awesome and people make fun of a lot, but it is the GoPro bite mount. And everyone says, oh, you look like an idiot with the bite mount in your mouth. 
and maybe I do, but it's super useful. And for like $24, it's an awesome gift. Basically what you're getting with the bite mount is a POV shot. So there's a head mount, there's a chest mount, but that mouth mount spot is really, really useful because you can be filming something or maybe even just filming yourself doing something, flip it around, switch to bite mount, you got a POV shot or whatever you're doing, and then switch right back. You do get a lot of looks with it, but who cares? Who cares what people think of you? Sweet gift. That would be, that would be an awesome gift. Next thing up for, for pretty much anyone really is anchor battery packs. They don't, they don't come with these cables. Battery packs, you just need them. You need them all the time. These are 10,000 milliamp, which is, which is a bunch. I can charge GoPros with it. I can charge my phone with it. I can charge uh, most anything with it. And 10,000 amps is like a perfect amount. These are really pocketable, really small and decently cheap, especially compared to like their huge 26,000 milliamp battery packs, which are sweet. They're great to have on long trips, but day-to-day -day stuff, if I go out anywhere, at least one or two of these is gonna be in my photo bag. So do that, put that in someone's stocking and, and they'll thank you for it. Uh, next up we got, ah, oh, something I don't even have here. That's a bummer. It's the Micro Jib Flow. It's basically, the GoPro bobber grip that I've used in the past for GoPro. Okay, it's basically a floating grip like this, except that you twist the top, it goes and it extends like this far. So you have an extension pole while in the water with your GoPro and if you drop it, it floats. The reason I don't have it is because I let somebody borrow it because it's awesome. And I said, hey, if you're gonna take your GoPro on the water, you gotta take this thing with you. But check the link below. I'll link to Microjib's website where you can check out the flow. It's, it's a must have item for GoPro users. Yeah, if you have a GoPro, get a flow. Ha, ha. Okay, next up's a good one. Boom, this is the GoPro three-way mount and it goes everywhere with us. If I bring my GoPro somewhere, this mount 100% goes with us over any other mount, even the bite mount. I like this more than I like the bite mount, and I really like the bite mount. Yeah, check it out on GoPro's website, but it pretty much switches from a handle mode to a selfie mode, and it has a tripod that comes out the bottom. If you know somebody that has a GoPro, this would be a sweet gift for them. Sticking with the GoPro theme is the Joby suction mount. This is this is another go everywhere mount with us where I would say this grip, this suction cup, and this bite mount are our three must have GoPro items. So if you know somebody that uses a GoPro a lot, I would say any of these three mounts and they're gonna be pretty stoked. So the nice thing about the suction mount, it suctions to any flat, smooth surface and then, uh, yeah, it's on there good. And all you have to do is unscrew this one knob on the side, the whole thing kind of goes anywhere you want. You get your GoPro exactly how you want it, and with one knob, the whole thing locks in. So even, even something that's shaking and moving around a lot, this thing is locked in place. Joby makes another one that has like a gorilla pod arm on it. Don't don't get that one, get this one. This is Mobetta. And lastly, also in the GoPro world is the new Ulanzi G85 cage. Now mind you, GoPro's new media mod kit is not out yet. We don't know when it's gonna be out, but Ulanzi was faster and they made this sweet aluminum cage for your GoPro setup has a massively tall mount on top for your microphone, which is awesome because the other one was a little too short. This one is plenty high. It's got a spot for the audio adapter on there and a side door that completely comes off if you want to access it like that or uh, when you have it totally on, you can still access the USB-C port. Yeah, if you're rocking a GoPro 8 right now, this is the cage to have. And then the very last thing in the $50 and under category that would be sweet gift is the Aperture ML9AL M9 light. And this thing is a sweet light, amazing to have with you. Super powerful, really quick and easy. You can throw other diffusers in there if I wanna match it with tungsten. But I would say the main thing I use it for is is lighting people's iPhone shots so that it's not a straight on light, it's a it's an off to the side. 
pour products and ring shots at weddings. I use this a ton at weddings. I'll set the rings up, I'll put this thing just off to the side like that, and then bam, I get some sweet shots with an off angle light. Super easy, really cool gift, and uh, shockingly useful. Okay, I think that's it. These are, these are all the $50 and under category gifts. Oh, oh, oh geez, oh geez. All right, $100 and under. I'm gonna try to speed up so we can make this video shorter. The number one thing that I would say is a sweet thing to have is this Peak Design camera strap. Now, I can't show you how it works because both of my cameras are being used right now. Oh, I got another camera this would work on, hang on. All right, it'll totally work on this camera. So this strap hooks into Peak Design's little uh, quick clip. I don't know what it's called. But basically, you take your camera and you flick it like this. These guys click in super quick and easy, and boom, I got my camera strap. I also like this, this clip here. I can extend out to make it longer. I can pull it up to make it shorter. And then uh, when I'm done using the strap, it just pops off like that. Really cool Christmas gift. I've given this to a bunch of people, and they all love it. Next up, and also in the Peak Design world is the capture clip. Now the capture clip itself is something that fits onto a lot of their bags, but it fits on any backpack strap, given that your backpack strap isn't crazy wide or ridiculous, but it fits on most backpack straps. And the sweet thing about it is that it takes the normal Arca Swiss plate clip and it slides right into it and you go, dink, boom. My camera is now locked in on the outside of my bag, ready to go. And with with just one button press. I can go from here to bink, ready to shoot, shoot around, slide it back in, lock it in place, and uh, it's locked in there really good. Peak design capture clip. Peak design, you are clever devils. Oh, also in the GoPro category, and just over the $50 mark, is the Polar Pro ND filter set. We talked about this set before in another video, but Pretty much this is a must have. If you have a Hero 8 and you wanna shoot cinematic footage, you gotta use ND filters, you gotta be at the right shutter speed, and uh, these help you get there. So again, someone in your life or yourself has a Hero 8, that'd be a pretty cool gift to open. Getting away from camera gear a little bit is the Leatherman tool that I carry all the time. We talked about this in my Little Bits bag, my bag of Little Bits video. What did I call that video? I don't remember. But this is something that is constantly in my pocket. I use it all the time. It gives me a bottle opener on there. I've got, I've got a knife for opening things, obviously. But the one sweet thing that I use all the time on here is a interchangeable bit driver. So this has got a bit on there that I can actually take out and swap it around. I can switch it out with one extra bit that's stored right over here, or I have, I don't know where it's at, but I have a whole other thing of screw bits that can slide in here for different utilities. Utilities? Uses. And one of those uses that I use all the time is the Peak Design Allen Key. So in my pocket, at all times, I have the Allen Key that fits the Peak Design screw. Without this key, that's stuck on my camera, or I can't put it on my camera. It's a it's a whole thing that I have with Peak Design and using an Allen key instead of a flathead. I'd much rather there be a flathead on there. But until there is, Leatherman Skeletool in my pocket and a sweet gift under the Christmas tree. All right, Leatherman Skeletool next up. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, I'm mentioning this one mainly because it's Black Friday, but this is the Joby Gorillapod. This is the old school version, but the new one, which is the Gorillapod 5K, which is this size, it's it's the big dog, is currently on sale for 50% off. So if you see this video in time, 50% off this thing means that this $180 handheld tripod becomes 90 bucks, which is a crazy price for it. But conveniently, just under the price of a $99 switch pod, which is also on my Christmas list because I, I haven't tried it yet and I wanna try one. So if anyone wants to send me a switch pod, that'd be awesome. Switch pod? Merry Christmas to me? No? No? But either way you go, you can pick up a Joby Gorillapod 5K kit right now for $90 or pick up a Switch Pod, which is $99. Yeah, $90 for this thing. I paid $180 and now it's $90. 
That's what happens. You buy something sweet and then it goes on sale. Okay, I think that's everything in my $100 and under category. Oh, jeez. Okay, next up is the $250 and under category. And the first thing up is the Peak Design Everyday Sling 10 liter which I love. This is a sweet bag. Check out my video on this bag if you wanna see more information, but also they just came out with their version two of all these bags, which means the version one is on a sweet sale and I don't see much of a difference. So if I was you guys, I'd go, I'd go score some version one bags because they're sweet and they're on sale. Oh, the next thing is sweet. And I'm gonna make a video that's gonna almost feature this item because a lot of you guys ask me how to keep your footage stable. Shaky shots seems to be one of the main concerns that I get from you guys asking how do I make my footage more stable and, and this is gonna be in an entire video but this thing, look at this thing. This thing's called the Micro Jib XL. And it's by the same company that makes that Micro Jib Flow, the extendable floating GoPro handle, which is sweet. But this thing is maybe the most overbuilt, heavy duty GoPro pole accessory anything I've ever used. And it's pretty amazing. Do you see what, you see what it does? It does that. Like I said, I'm gonna do a whole video where we talk about stabilizing your footage and this thing is gonna be featured in it because it helps a ton. But there's two ways to use this thing. Basically, when I turn this handle, this whole handle turns, look what happens to the head. The head has a turning mechanism in there. How rad is that? Okay, now does it make more sense? Look at this, my GoPro is out here like this. Dink, now it's facing you. Now it's facing me. Now it's facing you. Now, and all I'm doing is turning this handle. Do you know what a jib shot is? Have you, have you heard of a jib shot? A jib shot is when the camera stays like this, even though it rises, it stays, it stays level. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't rise like this, it rises like this. So the camera can do a lift shot like that. It's those big rising jib shots that you see that are these huge cranes on film sets. These guys have put that technology into a selfie stick. It's a shot you couldn't get any other way, and I love products that help me get shots that I couldn't get any other way. And Microjib XL is one of those products. Sweet Christmas gift. Okay, next up is the Samsung T5 SSD one terabyte hard drive. This, this hard drive right here is one terabyte, a thousand gigabytes in here. If you guys were doing any sort of computing back in the day, that is, that is insane. But for pretty much anybody, photographer, videographer, these things are amazing gifts. I could have, I could have 10 of these and I'd be a happy kid. All right, next up is, oh yeah, totally. The Rode Wireless Go microphone set. If you guys haven't seen these already, this is, this is a crazy cheap, crazy simple to use lav microphone setup where basically you put your, you put this piece onto your camera, you plug that bit in, you plug this into your camera, and then this is a completely wireless microphone. Totally wireless microphone. I could walk away from the camera and the audio would still sound perfect. The other nice thing you can do with this is you can tuck this under your belt clip and run an actual lav mic up so it's a little bit more discreet. This does have a microphone on it, but it's not very discreet. It's this it's this very large, very large thing you gotta have on you to have a microphone just like that. So I'd recommend picking this up and then also picking up a Rode Smart Lav that can be hooked up to your computer or it can be hooked up to this system and then boom, you have a super cheap, super easy to use Lav setup. All right, next up in the $250 below category is the Andy Cine 4K touchscreen monitor. And this thing is sweet because it is a shockingly affordable, really high quality monitor. Whenever you guys see me look up, because I'm, I'm doing this, looking at you guys, and then I look up, that's that's my monitor up there that, that's one of these. Can you see, a, oh look, you can see a reflection of it. <laughs> I run these monitors on both cameras so I can see what I'm shooting. Talking to a camera, doing any sort of setup like this is, is nice, but to be able to look up and hold something right in the right spot and just kind of get my framing, know, know exactly when something's in frame and when it's out of frame, 
super helpful, really cool, and if you have anyone in your life are looking to get into YouTube, into video, a monitor is a must have. Next up is another product that's gonna get its own video, and this is the Loop Deck. And and maybe my new favorite thing to work with. I've seen the Loop Deck for years online. I've always wanted one. I finally got one and it is, it's incredible. Basically everything that's within Lightroom or Premiere as far as my color editing is, is on here as an analog button. So to be able to watch my screen and do my edits like this is way different than sitting there with a mouse while looking at my screen, then looking over, making sure I'm clicking the right numbers, going back, going back, going back, going back. This thing, this thing is awesome. It's like playing piano, but while watching your edit. $250, so a very nice gift of you, but, but a good gift, very good. And lastly, in the $250 and under category, by $1 is the AirPods Pro. We've talked about these a bunch on the channel. I had a whole video about them, so I'm not gonna go into them too much, but they're amazing. They're still awesome. I still love them. Very nice of you to gift somebody $250 headphones. You're a generous one. Okay, I think it's everything in the $250 and under category. My desk is getting very full. Up to the $500 category, and I'm gonna go pretty quick through these, but at 277, I think it is, the DJI Osmo Action is a super dope, super affordable camera now, which is weird to say because it is a top, top camera that, that I still think competes with the Hero 8 in a lot of different ways. It beats the Hero 8. I've talked about those before, but 277, you can get an Osmo Action. Jump up just a little bit from there, and you get yourself a Hero 7 Black. And then of course, one jump from that, and you get yourself a Hero 8 Black. And then if you wanna go 360, you've got yourself both the Insta360 ONE X or the GoPro Max. I've got a little video comparing these two, and lots of videos comparing these three. All awesome options, all five of these would be a sweet gift for Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate holiday. Also in this category is the Peak Design Everyday Backpack 30 liter V1. This is the V1 and it's awesome. I actually like the look of the V1 better than the V2 that just came out and it's cheaper and I think it's on sale. I might buy another V1 just when this one goes bad. I'll still have a V1. What else is in this category? 500 and under, still at 500 and under. I'm gonna say, pick yourself up a set of Bose Quiet Comfort, Quiet Comfort QC35 twos. Now the reason I go with the QC35 twos and not the new Bose or the new Sony's is they reach that level of noise cancellation and quality that that honestly, I don't need any more than that. I probably can't tell the difference realistically between wearing these and the new Bows or these and the new Sony. So bang for your buck, I still think QC 35-2s are the way to go. That is everything in the $500 and under category. I don't know where I'm gonna put all this stuff. All right, in the $1,000 and under category, I only have one thing in this category that, that I think you should get, and it is. We've talked about this thing. This is the Riptide R1. Well, this is the Riptide R1 Black. They don't sell this board in particular anymore, but they have a Riptide R1, which is this base model, plus they have an R1X, but this one has waterborne surf adapters on it right there, so this thing rides more like a carver board, but but yeah, it's under $1,000, and it would be a sweet gift to open up on Christmas, Hanukkah, or whatever you're celebrating. Watch your skateboards, are just fun. Whew. Okay, last category, and these are for the big dogs out there of you that are, that are saying to yourself, I would like to spend thousands of dollars on my friend, family member, or myself. The first thing in this category is the Sony RX100 Mark 7. This is the Mark 6, and it's in a cage. I don't have the Allen key to get it out of there. It looks, it looks more like this. This is the actual size of it, but it's in a cage right now. 
but it's amazing. And the new Mark 7 even has an audio import, so you can put a microphone on top. The screen flips all the way up so you can vlog with it. And in general, when people tell me they're looking for a good camera, this is the one I point them towards but the Mark 7, this is the Mark 6. Again, the Mark 7. Sony RX100 Mark 7. Do that and be a hero on Christmas. If you get this for somebody for Christmas, oh man, they're gonna love you. And then the last two things that are on my Christmas list are just the biggest of big dog items and it's the Sony a7 III and Sony a7R4. Both cameras are gonna see really big sales all through the holidays and I would say if you're a videographer and you're like just on that cusp of going full frame, go with the a7 III. If you're a photographer slash videographer, make the jump, go a7 IV. I think I've seen it on sale for as low as 2,500, which is bananas for that camera. I'll have to check. I'll put it on the screen, the lowest that I've seen it so far, but keep an eye out through the holidays because that camera in particular is gonna see some huge, huge rebates. I don't know why, because it is it is crazy good. But whatever the reason that that camera is on such a huge rebate, I would snag it up if you're in the market right now for a full frame, professional camera. The a7R4 is the way to go. Is that it? Oh, the Mavic Pro 2. Dang it, I didn't say that. The Mavic Pro is this one, and the Mavic Pro 2 is on some huge rebates right now as well, and I would say the Mavic Pro 2 might be one of the best drones that I've ever seen. Although the one is also really good. Somebody the other day was asking me about the Mavic Mini, and I was saying, honestly, for the extra bit of money, you can still buy the Mavic 1 Pro, and for only a couple hundred dollars more than what the Mavic Mini costs, you can have this drone, and this drone is really good. Again, not as good as the Mavic Pro 2, but still really good. Okay, that's really it. That is, that is everything. Those are all my ideas for you for holiday gifts. If you, if you can't choose a holiday gift idea out of this list, I, I don't know what to tell you. This is everything. This is everything I could possibly recommend to you that I think would be an awesome gift to open on Christmas or Hanukkah. Kwanzaa, whatever celebration you partake in. And again, ask any questions you have in the comments below, I'll answer them, but this was a super quick way to get through all of this as fast as possible, and maybe I'll make more in-depth videos on things that I haven't had in videos before in the future. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Hit the like button, comment below, and uh, if you haven't already, subscribe, because that's cool. But ask questions. I like questions. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. It's super fun. And next week, there will be a live video. I don't know when yet, but there's going to be a live video next week.